Hello, this is the seven lecture for vocabulary level four. The first two words are volunteers and volunteerism. They are both nouns and it means people who are helping travellers and tourists in the holidays to guide tourists. Heja is on a volunteerism holiday in Nepal and wanted to tell everyone all about it. Tourists don't have to pay to go on a volunteerism holiday. Two tourists have written blogs on the volunteers website. So volunteerism is the holiday and volunteers are the people that volunteer in the holiday. Knowledge and knowledgeable. Knowledge is a noun and it means understanding of or information about a subject which a person gets by experience or study and which is either in a person's mind or known by people generally. Knowledgeable is an adjective and it means knowing a lot. So when you describe someone, you can say they are knowledgeable. The details of the scandal are now common knowledge. So common knowledge, so it's, this means that it's familiar to most people. She started to photograph the documents, safe in the knowledge that she wouldn't be disturbed for at least an hour. So, in this case, knowledge is referring to knowing that. In this town, there are only a couple of restaurants that, to my knowledge, serve good food. So, to my knowledge means judging from my personal experience and information. So knowledge can mean, can be put into sentences and give a meaning to it. Like over here, it means knowing that. Over here means familiar to most people. Over here, judging from personal experience. So you kind of need to combine it and know what it means. Like in this case, what it means and other. Heja has a limited knowledge of French. Kado is very knowledgeable about medicine. So he knows a lot about medicine. The next two words are adventure and adventurous. Adventure is a noun and it is an unusual, exciting and possibly dangerous activity such as a journey or experience or the excitement produced by such an activity. Adventurous is an adjective. It means willing to try new or difficult things or exciting and often dangerous. Shirin had some exciting adventures in Egypt. Sam won't come home. He got no sense of adventure. That means he does not enjoy dangerous or exciting situations. He was something of an adventurer. So an adventurer is a person that goes on an adventure, living most of his life abroad. I'm trying to be more adventurous with my cooking. So um, this is describing how this person is trying to be. Instead of staying in a hotel all, all the time, you wanted to go out and be adventurous. Worth. This is an adjective. And it means having a particular value, especially in money. Our house is worth 200,000. We want to sell it and buy a new one in Holet. Thieves broke the shop window and carried on jewellery worth thousands of pounds. Buying those shares was very far-sighted move. They must be worth 10 times the original value. Any paintings by Van Gogh is worth a fortune. Recommend, recommendation and recommended. So recommend is a verb and it means to suggest that something or someone or something would be a good or suitable for a particular job or purpose or to suggest that a particular action should be done. Recommendation is a noun, um, a suggestion that something is good or suitable for a particular purpose or job. So when someone recommends you something, you can say that... Um, That was a recommendation from a friend. 
or you can say a friend recommended me that job. Recommended is an adjective and it means a suggested someone or something would be good or suitable for a particular job or per- purpose, like the example I gave earlier. I can recommend the chicken in mushroom sauce. It is delicious. So this person, I can recommend, is a verb. This person recommends the mushroom sauce because they find it delicious. The headmistress agreed to recommend the teacher proposal to the school governors. The city has much little to recommend it. It has a lot of view, a lot of few pleasant qualities. So it has a lot of few pleasant qualities. So oh, it says much and little. So it, it can have a lot or a few. I recommend writing your feelings down on a paper. I bought this computer on John's recommendation. So obviously John has told him that the computer was good. So because of John's recommendation, he bought the computer. I got the job on Sam's recommendation because she told employers that I was suitable for the job. The doctor recommended that I take more exercise. Definite and definitely. Definite is an adjective. It means fixed, certain or clear. Definitely is an adverb and it means without a doubt. So when you say, like in this picture, you definitely aren't here. So without a doubt, this person isn't over here. There's been a definite improvement in your English since you arrived. So it's clear, it's obvious that the person's English English has improved. The date for the meeting is now definite, 5th March. So the date is definite, so for sure this is going to be the date. Are you sure I'm invited to? Yes, Roger was quite definite about it on the phone. Are you going to have children? Oh, definitely, without any doubt. So this so this person, you can say, oh, for sure, uh, instead of like definitely. We definitely saw Herja getting on the bus, so he must have decided not to work late. My brother's attitude has changed for the better since he started his new job. So in this sentence... Um, it's quite obvious that the word definitely is missing. So, where would we put the word definitely? My brother' attitude has definitely changed for the better since he started his new job. So over here, we add definite. Gig. Gig is a noun and it's a concert, usually maybe a rock or pop, jazz, rap, any kind of concert. This week the band did the last gig of their world tour. Willie and Cal went to a brilliant gig last night. Many musicians from several countries have participated in the gig in Germany. Five years ago I was living in New York with my cousin and I used to go to a lot of gigs. To be on stage. It means on to or on a stage for a performance. The audience cheered as the band walked on stage for another in call. So the word in call, we're going to learn it after this slide. And I'll explain it. Sam is going to be on stage on tonight's gig. On stage, like over here, this is a stage and someone being on the stage they can like maybe sing on stage, act, dance and so on. Please can you tell me what time is it the band on stage? They will be on stage at 5pm. When the, when Lady Gaga came on stage, the whole crowd went absolutely crazy. In court. This is a noun and it is usually an extra song or piece of music that is performed at the end of a show because the audience shout for it so usually um 
the audience maybe shout for a repeat they want an extra song and so on so that's one in core means when we saw you two at Wembley they did three in course so they did three extra pieces of music than they've actually planned so maybe they planned to sing two songs they did five songs we were shouting for an in court they did a few old hits as for an in court in the music band the singer has prepared three old in courts to sing the gig tonight while she was doing an in court she threw her shoes into the crowd and i caught one of them atmosphere so atmosphere has two meaning it can be referred in two ways the first one the air that you breathe in space that the mixture of gases around the earth so the air that we breathe is called atmosphere atmosphere the other meaning as the character feeling or mood of a place or situation i think that a place has been pleasant and interesting or exciting so um an as atmosphere can also reflect the mood of a place maybe the atmosphere is bad or good so uh, in this case in this picture it reflects both of them actually this place lacks atmosphere so it's on the moon so there is there's no atmosphere the first one and it lacks atmosphere meaning that it that maybe the place is boring or there's nothing it's quiet so it lacks a good atmosphere a few plants in an office will improve the atmosphere these factories are releasing toxic gases into the atmosphere. That's the atmosphere in the room was so stuffy I could hardly breathe. So these three is referring to the first definition. There's a very relaxed atmosphere in our office. This one is the second definition is talking about the mood. It's relaxed. You want a restaurant that serves good food but has a bit of an atmosphere too. He put on some soft music and turned the lights down in order to give the room a bit of an atmosphere. If atmospheric conditions are right, it may be possible to see the group of stars tonight. So this one is referring to the first one. Plants are the main source of atmospheric oxygen. This is two referring to the first one. Okay, so this is another quick quiz. As you guys have done earlier, this is just a couple of words. I just want you to put it inside these blanks. It might be quite hard, like uh, recommended. This it comes twice, so you can put it in two sentences. Uh, don't worry if it is hard or if you if you are you will struggle with it. I will give the answers at the end. So pause pause this video and start it again when you finished okay so the first one says while she was doing and blank she threw her shoes into the crowd and i caught one of them so this one is in core the second one shady has very definite opinions about helping refugees heroin worth about five million was seized he is very knowledgeable about German literature, so knowledgeable is describing the person. The fifth one, we got lost on the metro, it was quite an adventure. Make sure it's adventure, not adventurous. You can't say it's quite an adventurous. It is dangerous to take more than the recommended dose of the medicine. The report makes the recommendation that no more prisons should be built. I am not normally I am not normally very adventurous when choosing my holidays. There has been an atmosphere of gloom in the factory since it was announced that it will be closing. So this one is atmosphere it is not pleasant, it is gloomy. The tenth one is volunteerism. Holidays are only for young people. She is recommended 
she is a highly recommended architect. The 12th one, my mom told us that we don't have to go to the gig tonight. The music band will be on stage next five minutes. And the last one is her knowledge of English grammar is very extensive. If you got a couple of them wrong, it's fine. You just need to use these words every day in order to know where to place them in sentences and in which situations you use. It just needs getting used to. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm, goodbye.